Et bonjour. Est-ce que je peux aller de toilette? <laughs> that is all the French I know. Anyway, we are going to do... <laughs> I don't know what that was. But anyway, we're going to do a review. Oh my gosh. I've been getting this request so, so, so much on my channel. You have no idea. Well, so much as in like three comments. But still, if I get a request, I want to try to do it. So <laughs> we are going to be testing the one and only most high coverage foundation in the whole world, apparently. Um, Dermacol Film Studio makeup film studio you know this is heavy duty um waterproof spf 30 which is amazing i love my spf as you all know i'm wearing spf 110 sunscreen right now i'm actually very very curious if i should do one side mark jacobs and one side dermacol because if this actually like covers as high coverage as mark jacobs then i'm like dang it's like here's a here's um here's a runner up okay so we're going to do this is way too shiny the lights just don't like this packaging Anyway, I'm already prepped and primed. The only thing I'm concerned about is the shade because I ordered this from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But obviously you can't swatch them and like you can't even see the actual bottle. You just see the colors online. Okay, this is the bottle. I don't know if this is the right shade and I'm very, very scared. Like, oh, Dermacol has a whole like acne line they have a skincare line what is going on anyway i did not even know they had their own skincare line so there you go if you want to try skincare line and this brand is cruelty free which is great but anyway enough of my jibber jabber oh my gosh i'm so scared okay this kind of looks like it could be my shade but it looks a bit dark as well <gasps> uh oh this looks kind of dark uh oh uh, no well i guess i just have to self tan so this is like the dermacol <laughs> And this is the Marc Jacobs. So yeah, the Dermacol is pretty dark. Who's gonna have to see? Oh my gosh, no. This is why online makeup buying for like foundations and concealers are just not, not my favorite. I think I'm gonna do the Dermacol on this side. Uh, it's not horrible, honestly. Could be worse. Yeah, like it's not bad actually. Uh, yeah, it's still pretty dark. Is it? I don't know. Does it look too dark? I think, right? Yeah. Anyway, we're just gonna take a brush and um, go for it. I like the feel of it. It's just, it feels very, very pasty. Like it's so thick. So I'm wondering if it can actually sheer out. <gasps> Here goes nothing. Oh my God. Hey. The shade actually is not that bad, to be honest. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be way darker, but when you actually put it on, like, it actually looks pretty nice. And again, with a bit of self-tanner, this will look fine. <laughs> I really like the undertone. It looks very, very natural. Shoot! Okay, so <laughs> maybe my guessing is pretty decent. I could definitely go at least, like, one shade lighter, at least. This covers, like, <laughs> everything. Holy crap. What is going on? This is insane. Holy, holy guacamole. I really like the finish of it too. It's like a very satin, almost dewy actually finish. And the thing is like, I've never even put on my dewy illuminating primer or anything like that. What do you think? What do you think about the finish? Anyway, we will go in now with Marc Jacobs on this other side. Just see again how well it covers. Again, Marc Jacobs is like my favorite foundation. We will see also the color difference too. But as of like this side, there literally is like no pigmentation, like no hyperpigmentation showing through, which is like crazy. So we will just put a bit on this side of Marc Jacobs and then we will just see if both sides are comparable this side is a bit more orange <laughs> nice so that is that side it's so weird how the undertones are so different for both but then yet like when i wear them both on their own most likely they will look normal to my skin yeah that's so weird i mean at least it works though like this shade is like pretty spot on actually but it is again i, I will admit though it is still like pretty orange <laughs> yeah i picked the shade um 213 and i think this is like a medium in the medium range so weird how like when they both sit in they both they both can like pass <laughs> for like the shades honestly anyway i'm gonna just use it cosmetics by bander eye and i'm gonna just quickly do um the rest of my makeup off camera and i will uh, come back I need it 
I won't put on setting spray just because I'm too lazy to get it right now, but also we can check on the finishes after powder. So this is the final look. It's so weird again how like two foundations have completely different undertones, but like they still kind of melt in to work. Both of them like, literally look so similar. This side and this side. Can you tell a difference? Like honestly, I don't even know if I could tell a difference besides my uh, my fabulous neck. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think I got lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> I don't know if I had it on this whole time. Yeah, I don't know. Be the final judge. I literally have no idea. In my humble opinion, literally these are the same. Like honestly, one thin layer for both foundations, I feel like will do the trick. I'm just so blown away how much this covers. And that's what I love about foundations. Just one layer and that's it. You don't have to build it up. You don't get that cakey look throughout the day. That's what I loved about this. So the fact that this is also like kind of a drugstore price kind of ballpark. I mean, I got this for like $30 almost. It was like $28 or something. Still, that's like half price of this. I'm not sure how much liquid you get in here, but you get 30 grams in this one. Yeah, I don't know. I am blown away. This, honestly, I give this foundation an A+. It feels amazing. Like, both feel very, very similar. They're not, like, drying. They're not matte. They're both very, like... I would say the Marc Jacobs is probably a bit more matte finish than the Dermacol or Dermasol. I don't know how you say it. But overall, I would still say, like, both are very, very, again, very similar. I, again, wanted to try this foundation out so much. If that can cover my acne scars and pigmentation, like, it could cover anything, honestly. This is so good. It just evens out your skin tone, like, amazingly. There's no negatives about this. Like, the only negative would be like maybe the tacky feel once you blend it out it's perfectly fine yeah it doesn't feel like i have really anything on my skin it feels like my skin it feels very natural despite it being very heavy duty but again it's kind of like feels the same way as this mark jacobs would like literally the same again the textures are a bit different when you first apply your, the foundation but other than that when you spread it out like you don't feel it like i don't feel one foundation more on either side both of them just feel normal again like a moisturizer or Something that's super, super, super unnoticeable. That's my review. I don't know. Comment down below what else you want to know about it. I think that covers most things. I will end it off here. I love you all so much. Hope you have a good day, good night, wherever you're watching this. Please subscribe if you want to see more of me. I post every Sunday and Thursday. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video I post. And all my social media links and the products down below are linked. Of course, as always, virtual kisses and hugs. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, peace. <laughs>